Hello. Who are you? Doesn't matter. Welcome. You're safe with me. I'll be right here. Nice and close so I can speak without alerting the others. Let me tell you about Senua. Her story has already come to an end, but now it begins anew. What's happening? It's breathing. Dead. It's breathing. It's breathing. He knows she's getting closer. He can feel her coming closer. She's getting closer. This is a journey deep into darkness. There'll be no more stories after this one. What is she doing? Why is she doing this? They're watching. Why isn't she doing coming? Her? She's doing this for him. She wants to rescue him. He's already they dead. can feel you coming. Shh. Coming. Quiet. Oh, how rude of me. I never told you of the others. You hear them too, right? They've been around ever since the tragedy. Well, that's not quite true. Some are old, some are new, but they've changed. I think the darkness changed them just like it changed her. Can you see them over there? Why isn't she looking? <laughs> Why aren't you looking? <laughs> Look, up ahead. You see it too? You promised you came. Yes. It is real after all. She's finally arrived in the land of mist and fog. The place the Northmen call hell. She's afraid. Wouldn't you be? You'd think she would get used to it by now after so many years. But the darkness... It just builds onto itself, growing stronger, towering over her. You might try and ignore it, turn away. But it's always there, just out of sight where you're most vulnerable. It's like it knows that just enough light is all you need to see its suffocating power. You might think she's brave to go on this journey on her own. But it isn't bravery that drives her. 
Bravery only means something to those afraid of death. Said it was fear. Runs far. Far deeper. What is she looking at? What is she leaving behind? I know what she's thinking. I hear her thoughts. It's not too late to get into the boat and go back. No one will judge her. No one will ever know. Oh, she heard us. There's no going back. You can't do it. Then who pushes away a world that conspired to cause so much suffering? There's nothing to go back to, and worse to look forward to. Why don't you join us? Maybe you too have a part to play in this story. Focus. Look closer. Look. Use your eyes. Why isn't she looking closer? She needs to look closer. Focus. Do not forget my story, Senua. Because your darkness comes from hell. Do not forget my story, Senua. Because your darkness comes from hell. And your fate lies there. They say the burning of a corpse will take you straight to Hela's gate. But gods and the living will follow this path. You must leave the Isles of Orkney across the Eastern Sea and find a road that leads north and down through deep, dark valleys. After nine nights of riding, you will follow a great river and will find a bridge covered in gold. The path to Helheim goes from there, across the river of knives that flows from the dark world of Niflheim. across which lies the halls of hell, the place they call Helheim.
There's no doubt about it. The source of the darkness is in Helheim. And the goddess Hela holds his soul there. Her dear beloved, Dillian. He's already dead. He's dead. But his soul is in Helheim. His soul still lives. She needs to save his soul. She wants his soul to be at peace. She needs to lay him to rest. He's already dead. She can save him. There's nothing she can do. She thinks she's going to do you know where you are? to Helheim. I forget its name. She forgets too. But she does remember that only the dead may cross it. That part wasn't so easy to forget. The old fool said there was a hidden path up to it. Let's see, shall we? Northmen speak of nine worlds. The world of men they call Midgard. Sky gods dwell in Asgard. The gods of earth, harvest, wind, and sea dwell in Vanaheim. The good elves dwell in Alfheim. The evil ones dwell in Svartalfheim. The mountain giants dwell in Jotunheim. The fire giants dwell in Muspelsheim. Niflheim is the world of ice and darkness. Only the dead dwell in Helheim, and that is where you must travel. Truth is my truth. Hmm? It's 
good to see you again. You kept your vow. To guide you in this life and the next. I will tell you my stories of hell if I may walk with you. Tell me your stories again, old friend. I'm listening. The runes seal the gates to hell. Focus your inner eye. And you too will see what's hidden in plain sight. I can see one. Hold it in your mind's eye. Find one like it to open the gate. if you focus? The gate is open. Go through the gate. Go through it. It's dangerous. Follow it. What's behind? Good work. I spent six years enslaved in hell. But I watched the Northmen. Learned their ways. I know you did. You listened? When everyone else laughed. My people paid the heavy price. Carry my stories with you, and together we will make the Northmen feel our fury! Another voice joins us. She wants to try to make them go away. Pretend they weren't real. But what good is that? When we are always here. Same with heights. You can stand on the edge, pretend it's going to be okay. But you know that death is near, waiting for you to make that little slip. You can't just wish things away. of the dead is ruled by the giantess, Hela, daughter of Loki. The gods feared her bloodline, bad on her mother's side and yet much worse on her father's. So, as a child, the Allfather cast her down into Helheim and gave her power over those who die of sickness, age, hardship and self-slaughter. In all of the nine worlds, only Hela can resurrect the dead. To Hela, your Dillion was sacrificed, and with her you must bargain.
gate to Helheim divides the living from the dead. Is that the face of Hela herself? The half-rotten goddess that rules over Helheim. Whatever horrors lie behind that door, she must find him. does not bargain. 
It does not reason. It is rot. And now it has taken hold. It will spread towards her head, the seed of the soul, until there is nothing left of her. <laughs> All of her suffering will have been for nothing. It's just a matter of time. Hardest battles are fought in the mind. That is what Dillian taught her. With every defeat, the dark rot will grow and soon it will take her soul. But for now, at least, she still has control of her mind. And she will fulfill her vow. Whatever the cost. Listen to me, Senua. The goddess Hela lies behind the gate to Helheim. To open the gate, you must first face the gods that guard it. The god of fire. Surt, and the god of illusion, Valraven, spill their blood to open the gate to Helheim and enter the land of the dead. To Dillian, to his soul. It won't open. Why won't it open? Why can't she? She needs to challenge the gods. She has to fight two gods first. Two gods? Two, two gates. gates. One of them will kill her, I know it. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to die. Uh-oh. Which one will she challenge first? Be very careful. <sighs> she was a face. Sort. The fire giant has answered. Which one? He comes from a land older than mankind. And the Northmen call upon his flaming sword to raise their enemies to the ground. Find him, Senua. She found the wretched old fool on her way back from the wilds. An outcast was badly burnt all over. She took pity on him, for he was not long for this world. Like her, who spoke of his own darkness. The Northmen. The Northmen tell this story. Before the Earth was created, there was a world called Muspel. Because it was in the south, it was bright and hot, flaming, burning. Sparks that flew out from Muspel became the stars. Other sparks melted ice in the frozen world of Niflheim, creating the body of the first giant, Ymir. Muspel is one of the nine worlds and is now the land of the fire giants and people from elsewhere cannot endure a journey there.
Ah! 
say that the defender of Muspel is called Surt, the foremost of the fire giants. His name means the Black One, because he is like something burnt. The Northmen believe that he sits at the border of Muspel with his flaming sword, and at the end of the world he will leave his post. He will travel to Asgard and Midgard, waging war against all the gods. He will be victorious, and then burn the whole world with fire.
The Northmen believe that the world will be destroyed someday. They call it Ragnarok, the destiny of the gods. Asgard will be attacked by Surt and the fire giants. A monstrous wolf will swallow the sun, and the gods will fight in vain against their enemies. There is nothing they can do to prevent it. But Odin ever seeks knowledge and magic, hoping, hoping to find a way to postpone that dark day. The Northmen made fire sacrifices, burning slaves like me to reveal the path to Surt. I searched for meaning in their suffering, in their eyes. But they just screamed like helpless pigs. Answer your prayers, Senua. I asked the gods for mercy, all of them, even theirs. None answered. In the end, I set myself free. Defy the gods, Senua! Find your own path, like I find mine! My gods abandoned me! I am alone. Northmen of Hell worship the Devourers, insatiable gods of darkness. I come from Eren, Senua, where I once followed my own gods, the Tuatha de Danann. Why did you abandon your gods? Senua, I was a man of knowledge, not a warrior. To survive, I did things. Bad things. Like you, Cinema. The man I once was has died. And when that happens, even gods you worship can die with you.